Do you really dread large social occasions? Are you dreading your wedding day? Are you more of a wallflower than a social butterfly? We speak to many couples who really don't enjoy being in the limelight. Yes, they do want to get married, but they're dreading the occasion of their wedding day and lots of people being there when they're trying to say those all important vows to each other. It is possible to enjoy your wedding day, even if you are more of an introvert than an extrovert. And in this video, we're going to share with you some of our top tips on how you can not only survive your wedding day, but thrive on your wedding day. My name is Caroline Langham and I'm a wedding planner and a wedding venue owner. And I've been advising couples for over 30 years on how to design and enjoy the best wedding day. Today, we're going to be talking all about how to enjoy your wedding as an introvert. Firstly, let's take a look at the setting for your wedding. Now, the best piece of advice we could possibly give you is to try to keep your wedding as small and intimate as possible. The less people that are going to be there, the most important people that are going to be there are the people that you're going to feel the most comfortable with and the most at ease. So, Lots of people do choose to have an elopement wedding or a very small intimate wedding where it is literally just their best friends, their nearest and dearest and their closest family members. Might be parents, might be siblings, but actually just keep that guest list to an absolute minimum. And in order to do that, you want to also be looking for venues which are intimate, small, cosy, family oriented, where you have that lovely relaxed feel that's instantly going to make you feel much more relaxed in yourself. Also, if you did have a private wedding venue, hopefully with exclusive use, you're not going to be coming across strangers in the corridors. If you know that you've got the whole place to yourself and you've got exclusive use in your venue, going to feel comfortable that everybody at your wedding is going to be somebody that you know quite well, always going to make you feel more at ease. So let's begin by taking a look firstly at the choice of setting. What kind of venue is going to work for you? We always, always recommend if you're feeling nervous, you don't want to be the center of attention, you would like something really low key and relaxed, then really you need to be looking at the smallest of weddings, whether it's an elopement or just a very small intimate family wedding. So you want to be looking at very small wedding venues, somewhere that's very intimate and private with a lovely homely feel to it. Here you're going to find a much more relaxed atmosphere, uh, fully exclusive use and along with that comes the fact that you're not going to bump into any strangers at the bar in the corridors there's not going to be anybody over overlooking your ceremony as you're saying those all important vows so do give a lot of thought to the type of venue that you might prefer Secondly, we're going to look at the guest list. So if you're going to go with a smaller wedding, whether it's a wedding for two, 10, 20, um, smaller weddings are becoming much more popular. And obviously you're going to end up with a much smaller guest list. Now, the people that are going to make it onto that guest list, hopefully are going to be your very, very nearest and dearest. It might be your best friend, it might be your siblings, it might be your parents, your grandparents, whatever it is. These are the people where actually you are the life and soul of the party when you're in a private environment um, around the dinner table having fun. These people are going to be the people at your wedding. Therefore, it's going to take a lot of pressure off you on your wedding day. So you're not feeling like you're having to do a public performance. So the smaller, more close-knit family members that you have at your wedding, hopefully the more relaxed you're going to feel, you're not going to have to make small talk with strangers. There's going to be a warmth and connection there with all of the people at your wedding. Um, you're going to feel safe and secure and hopefully much more relaxed. Yes, you will still feel a little nervous um, and that is natural to feel emotional on your wedding day. But hopefully with the people here that you know and trust, you're not going to feel under any pressure on your wedding day. Now, I also know through my years of wedding planning that lots of people do find it really tough to cut down their wedding guest list. So I am going to pop a link in the um, video up here, which is going to point you to a one minute guest list quiz, and it will help you to decide who's in and who's out. 
Number three, let's talk about how you could manage those emotions. Now, it goes without saying you are going to feel nervous. Everybody, everybody feels nervous when they come here to get married. That is very, very natural. So how can you manage those emotions best? I think the best thing you could possibly do is accept you are going to feel nervous and getting married is an emotional time. And yes, saying your vows are nerve wracking. But if you're only having an intimate wedding, the people that are going to be present at that moment with you are those people that are never, ever going to judge you. They are your nearest and dearest. They love you dearly. And they're going to really enjoy being a part and uh, honoured to witness you saying your vows to each other. So try not to feel nervous, knowing that the people that are sat in the room with you are those that really matter to you. And don't try to rush the event. Don't try to rush through your vows. Try not to feel as on edge. Easy to say, I know. But try to remain in the moment and take time for you and your partner to make the most of these very, very special moments. Your wedding day is going to be one of the most special days of your life. It is over in the blink of an eye and do try to enjoy and be yourself, be in the moment. Don't feel shy about saying what you need to say um, to your partner as you're marrying. It is a very beautiful, beautiful moment. And I know from personal experience, I feel very, very privileged to be able to witness some of the most beautiful, beautiful moments when couples marry each other. So try not to dread it. Know that you are going to feel nervous and that's very, very natural. But do try to embrace it and try not to rush it. And your guests will be pleased that, they, that you've invited them and that they are privileged to be sitting in that audience listening to you saying your vows to each other. Planning a small intimate wedding is usually much less stressful. But also trying to find a venue with a small wedding planning team that is a consistent team is always helpful too. You will get to know your own wedding planner where you can build a relationship and build trust with that person. It's always nice to know that there's always a friendly voice at the end of the phone should you need any help or advice. Also, your wedding planner will get to know what kinds of things are likely to cause you stress and anxiety and they're going to help to put those fears at bay. So being able to build trust and have a consistent, supportive wedding planning team is really helpful to anybody that is feeling stressful about their wedding day. And it's always great to know that that same person that you've been dealing with all along your wedding planning journey is going to be there on your wedding day to hold your hand and to make sure that everything goes just as smoothly as you've planned it. Next, we're going to look at how to be your authentic self on your wedding day. So many times we see couples getting carried away or being pressured almost into creating a wedding that's actually nothing like themselves or their personality and is really not what they want. So be very thoughtful about what you would really enjoy on your wedding day. You don't have to have all of the elements that people traditionally associate with weddings. You don't have to have speeches. You don't have to have a first dance. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do on your wedding day. So feel liberated that actually you can make these choices. We always advise our couples to think about all of the elements of their wedding day. Um, from the very beginning to the very end, you can do pretty much what you like. Um, there are certain things you obviously need to do um, and say for your wedding vows if you're getting married. Um, therefore, we can work around it. So be guided by your wedding planner. Be guided by all the things that you can and cannot do, all the things that you don't need to do and make your wedding day your own. So choose a venue that's going to be flexible for you, a venue that isn't necessarily too traditional or too fixed in its ideas. You want to do something a little bit different at times. So maybe choosing a venue that's got pretty outdoor spaces, cozy ceremony rooms, and has got a relaxed family kind of feel to it is going to be more the kind of vibe that you're looking for. It's also going to feel less daunting. And as I said earlier, you really don't have to do that first dance. It really doesn't matter. Number six, we're going to talk about photography. I know many of you often say to me, oh, I hate having my photograph taken. 
I might be camera shy or I am camera shy. I'm dreading that moment. Please try to relax and not worry so much about your wedding photography. Always ask your wedding venue for recommendations when it comes to wedding photographers, people that they've worked with before and built up a rapport with. Um, when you're looking for photographers, try to check out their reviews and always be interested in what other couples have said about how that photographer made them feel. So when you're looking for a photographer, yes, you can research what their style of wedding photography looks like, what their prices are, what their availability is, but also read between the lines as to how the couples felt about their photographer, how they got on with their photographer. We have a list of photographers handpicked by us. All of our couples afterwards always say to us, you know, it was more like going for a walk with an old friend than actually doing a portrait shoot. It was just great fun. Sometimes you're not even aware that they're taking your photo. Most photographers, and the reason why we choose a lot of our photographers is because they are um, very subtle in the background, shooting away without you even noticing that they're taking photographs of you. That way you're gonna get much more natural photography and you're not gonna feel so awkward having any kind of posed shots. It's also a really good idea to have a Zoom call with your photographer so that you can get to know each other before the wedding day. So don't shy away from having your wedding photographs done. It is one of the biggest things that couples relish after their wedding day uh, as a reminder of that wonderful experience. So finally, let's talk about timescales. Now, I know you might be tempted to keep putting off your wedding planning or to even keep putting off that beautiful proposal that your partner might well be waiting for. So we would always say the longer the delay, the more time there is for that worry, that anxiety to build. So our advice is seize the day, plan it now and actually just do it in a matter of months. The smaller the wedding as well, the easier it's going to be to plan a wedding in short notice. So the shorter the time frame that you've got to work with, the less anxiety is going to build up inside of you. And with a, um, a great, small, intimate, exclusive use wedding venue with a dedicated wedding planning team there to help you and hold your hand, there is no reason that you can't embrace the day and enjoy planning your wedding and have the most amazing and hopefully relaxed and enjoyable wedding day. So to summarize, for all of you people out there that are more of a wallflower than an extrovert, what we would say to you is that the most important thing is that you design your wedding your way in a place that you're going to feel at home in and relaxed in with the right kind of wedding guests there. Because small is beautiful. Also try to find a venue that have got a trusted team of professionals that are going to help you and advise you along the way. Somebody that you're going to feel that you can trust and is going to help with that anxiety. But most of all, enjoy your wedding and focus on the reasons why you want to get married. And that is for love.